Hi all, Mass Barn Cup from Kaiser Power Electronics here. Today we're taking a look at this Eton 5 KVA UPS system. Now this is only half of it, this is only the inverter part. I tell you, the size of the toroidal output transformer th this had, it was massive. It's an 80, 87 kilograms. It was so heavy that I could not drag it up from the dumpster that it was uh, located in, simply because it was stuck in something else and just the weight of it alone. And maybe even handling it alone into the back of my car. No way. That was simply insane. But here we have a pretty special um, UPS um, yeah, layout. So I'm actually looking forward to take a look at how this is built, what the circuit layout is, because we have a huge inverter board sitting up here. But all the uh, cables from the battery pack, from the uh, three-phased input uh, down here and to the, uh, to the output choke goes down here at the bottom where it seems we have some kind of PFC um, front end and a other little inverter or output module. I'm not quite sure. So that's quite interesting to see how is this really built. So let's dive into it. Now, if we start to take a look at the cables that goes in and out of this unit, we have these two black and green one uh, says output. Then there is normal AC source, which is a rubber cable. And there is bypass AC source, nothing connected. And this is a battery connector. As we can see, this is a standard um, high current DC plug. Now these cables come inside all the wires all down to the start of the bottom board down here and then we will take up this uh, first um, small inverter part here see what kind of maybe that's just uh, the power supply for driving everything that seems very likely since we have two uh, output transformers and it's also just a small heat sink so underneath we probably have the input rectifier board and the uh, active uh, pfc front end could be this up here at least we have an uh, SGR module SKKT 57 B12 so that's a 1200 volt 57 uh, amp module and there is just a single one of those then we can see here we have one two three four four wires crossing up to the inverter sitting up here so that could be two DC wires from the DC bus down here and two DC wires out to the um, battery but just looking at the size of these uh, wires the, there must be something missing someplace because the output wires are definitely larger gauge than this uh, small uh, probably six square millimeters and this is at least um, See that one says six AVG, AVG, so that's something like ten square millimeters. Um, so also interesting to see what the TO two hundred forty seven devices is sitting on these two heat sinks, and up here we have a control board with a microcontroller, and there is the whole network option sitting in a small chassis over here, and we have the front panel, uh, front control panel uh, connector sitting over here. So. Let's get this torn apart. It is cold out here in the workshop, so I must remember to drink my coffee. Now the input mains uh, connector and the um, yeah, fuses and breaker. As we can see here, we have a uh, normal and uh, bypass mode. And there is a 100 amp um, switch for the battery link. Uh, I presume it's for the battery link because 100 amps. Hey, normal AC switch, 100 amps. Okay, that's uh, pretty large for um, a AC mains input with only this uh, square um, wire. It's like four millimeters, four square millimeters. But if we look inside this uh, connector box, that's quite packed with uh, with stuff. Um, there is some ferrite cores for just filtering. Underneath here we have all the terminals. There is the bypass and normal switch. So that's a, that is a three-throw, um, three-phased switch. And over here we can see that the ground connections to the chassis 
go out to a large um, connector here to inserting into the large chassis, the whole rack system this is mounted in. But it's also uh, extra protected against uh, short circuits, against the wires here. A lot of uh, nice details to uh, safety in this product. And whole, this whole box connects with these um, yeah, terminals that just slide into the unit. So you can actually change the whole input box for another country's standard or customer preferences. So again, a nice modular design on this UPS system. The whole PFC front end is now taken out of the chassis. As we can see over here, we have a red and black wire coming in. This is the battery connection. We have the mains output and input um, over here. So we have regular L and C filtering sitting here on top. Lots of uh, TVS um, as well and uh, yeah, various stars, movie stars. Mouse, all kinds of transient protection sitting here at the input. And that is a lot of this board. This whole section is just output input filtering. We get over to the active part here, uh, the uh, PFC front end. Now these uh, three cables is what connects over to the uh, main inverter board. But a few details we can see about this inverter here. On this side, we have a range of uh, XS um, double diodes. Here we have a uh, SCR, it's an SKKT 57B12, so 57 amp at 1200 volts. This is the mains uh, input from uh, the large fuse. Um, this goes down on the board, so this is this gets its. Um, main supply over from the mains input here, down through a current transformer uh, for input current sensing, goes through the um, PF PFC chopper, goes back down on the board uh, where we have the uh, now PFC uh, DC or uh, mains input, and then through different uh, other smaller MOSFETs, IDPTs and diodes, we get the conditioned um, mains input to the main inverter. Now this also has its own housekeeping power supply sitting over here and it has a small uh, gate drive transformers and some logic sitting down here. But the main control still comes from the main IC of the control board through this connector, as we can see later on when we look at the main inverter board. The power supply that was sitting at the top and start over the um, PFC board it turns out this is actually a uh, 230 volt AC input and then DC output offline switcher. Now this is concluded upon that uh, it has two 450 volt electrolytic capacitors on the input side that are in parallel. So what's this 400 volt AC rectified? It would be over 500 volts. So this has to be single phase and neutral. Now here we have a small uh, chip. This is a UC3845, which is a offline or DC-DC converter switch up to 500 kilohertz. It's driving a half bridge of 47 and 60 MOSFETs. Also some uh, Schottky diodes on the output. And on the output side we have a 450 volt uh, electrolytic capacitor as well, as well. Now the two transformers over here are sitting in um, parallel as well. So I think we can conclude that this unit is somewhere around 15 amp fuse sitting at the input. So this is um, a 4 kilowatt unit. So this could deliver a DC voltage to the battery pack or where we see the red and black wire goes back onto the board, um, which seems to be the um, battery DC link. So let's try to fire this up. We can see it uh, starts up the fan. Um, outputs 208 volt DC, uh, which is uh, lower than expected. The main inverter board put into two parts. Not quite sure if this is uh, made as a full bridge because we have three switches sitting here, three there, 
on the other side we have like five five so we have a uh, high current inverter part and a low current so this is the high voltage probably uh, the um, the input uh, charging to the battery and then we have a output inverter sitting on the other side the connectors over to the pfc front end we have all sitting here at the output filtering stage so after the uh, output inverter goes through the um, inductors here to shape up the sine wave that we need on our mains uh, backup supply. Over here we can also see the uh, flat band um, connector that runs over to the PFC front end. And notice all these uh, thin tracks running down here all along the uh, edge of the inverter, main inverter board and over to the control board that we will take a look at last. The main inverter board on this side we have K25N120 uh, Infineon uh, switches and if we take a look at the other side it is also Infineon G30N60 and if we take a look at the back side for the what were, I would say was the high current inverter which the part numbers also suggest with the lower voltage uh, numbers we can actually see here that these are sitting all in parallel, three switches and a diode, and the same goes over here, but as, as it's the left leg and the middle leg, we know that's three switches and three switches in a half bridge configuration. The same goes for the other side where we have three switches as well. We have three switches sitting with the middle leg. So these are two separate uh, inverters going out to their different connections, either running inverter over the battery or charging to the battery. Double-sided board, so we have a lot of thin signal lines running on the out of edges of the board. A good design um, with all your tracks as far away as possible from the main inverter that is quite noisy. The main control board has its three connectors down to the main inverter. There is a connector out to the front panel and there is a connector to the expansion slot. It is a MC9S12E128 microcontroller running at 4 MHz, as we can see on the crystal. Other than that, it is all discrete, small uh, logic ICs and a lot of input filtering and conditioning. There is so much decoupling sitting on this board and yeah, resistors, pull up resistors, pull down resistors so that that's basically what make, makes up this board all around the large uh, IC here. The control panel sitting at the front is rather basic. Um, just had a small window, four buttons, a nice uh, tactile uh, rubber um, feedback here going down to the small switches. And then it had a yeah quite standard, um, I'm not quite sure if this is, oh, it seems like a two-line display. So this can uh, be reused as it just uses a common uh, display driver. I hope you enjoyed this teardown of this 5kVA UPS system. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the uh, high-res pictures that will be in the outro. So just, yeah, enjoy the nicer, closer pictures of this hardware. And until next time, see ya.